It's shaping up to be a wonderful holiday, not your normal average every day. Sounds like someone felled my old coral tree. SpongeBob Patrick, why'd you do this to me? The world feels like it's in loverly. Go away before I harm you bodily. This Christmas feels like the very first Christmas to me. They'll be shopping, decorating, and planting of snow. Hey, Patrick, who's that under the mistletoe? What? Who? Me? Would you look at the time I should go? People seem a little more brotherly. brotherly. Here's a special something to you from me. Even all the trash on Christmas, it smells so sweetly. This Christmas feels like the very first Christmas to me. Watch, can't you see that I'm busy? Step outside, we've got something for you to see. SpongeBob, take this stuff down immediately. Chestnuts roasting and burns in the third degree. Tonight things are as good as they seem to be. A star on top will complete all the scenery. This Christmas feels like the very first Christmas to me. This Christmas feels like the very first Christmas to me! First, this is a really big pineapple. It's actually a little over 12 inches, which means we have to make a crazy amount of gingerbread dough, throw that into what we call a sheeter and get really big pieces of dough. We then create a stencil. We hand cut the cookie, bake it to perfection. Um, and we have our piece of artwork that we're going to put more artwork on. Everything you see here is edible. We're using a little bit of a different style. Normally when you see a cookie, the entire cookie is what we call flooded, which is what you're seeing in his pants and his shoes, which means we outline and then we flood it. We fill each little section. But because this is a gingerbread shoot, we wanted you to see that they are gingerbread. We wanted to kind of keep everything in theme, mm -hmm. um, but also honor the actual episode, right? We honored the coral Christmas tree that SpongeBob and Patrick <laughs> chopped down nice. by using um, white non-pareil sprinkles. Um, a little bit of royal icing to kind of look like little snow drifts, and then the most traditional gingerbread house candy ever, gumdrops. Those are our little lights. Do you guys wanna know how to make sprinkles? Absolutely. Okay, Come tell us more, tell us more, tell us more. Okay. We started talking about sprinkles and I just have to give you this fun little tip. So if you make royal icing for the holidays, you're gonna have some leftover. Don't squeeze it into your mouth, instead, mm -hmm. Cut a little small hole in your piping bag. You can use a Ziploc mm. and then pipe little lines. It doesn't matter if they're even straight. Mm. And within like 15 minutes, the royal icing is thin and thick and it dries and you sort of, well, I'll show you here because sometimes it doesn't stick, but you sort of can like break apart the little lines. You'll have mm -hmm. long lines and make little jimmies and sprinkles. Oh, cute. So you just keep breaking them, yeah. And what's wow. fun is you can use all of the colors that you did mm -hmm. on your cookie and make like a custom sprinkle blend in the colors of your Christmas cookies. That's fantastic, thank you. you ready to see the last thing? Yes, please. Okay. Dun da da. Dun da da. The oh wow. This guy on the block got the coolest house. This took two people five hours. Wow. Um, just to, again, cut really long 
pieces of uh, gingerbread and then engineer it because a circular gingerbread house is about 100 times harder than a square or wow. any sort of geometric shape. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for coming and geeking out with me on all things gingerbread and cookies. Yarr. Love all things SpongeBob? Like and comment below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to never miss a new video here on the SpongeBob official YouTube channel. Yarr.